John Harper and John Dostromsky now. So Harper, uh, Bassett was six scoreless innings. Granted, it is the Pirates, but still pretty crazy to think that the number three starter on this team is as good as he is. So would you say that Bassett is better or the same as what you expected him to be when the Mets got him? He's lived up to pretty much what I expected. He's been really good the last few years with the A's. So, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of pressure on him coming in to kind of live up to that and be that guy. They needed a number three guy behind uh, DeGrom and, and Scherzer, and he's been that. You know, coming off one of his few rough starts of the year this past one against the Cubs, bounced back. You heard him talk about how he was sick. He, he had a stomach, some kind of stomach problem uh, for it knocked him on his butt, as he said. So, bounced back from that, and he was, you know, he was his usual self. The, look, the Pirates are not a good hitting team. This is what the Mets should be doing to this team, but they didn't do it uh, the one game in Pittsburgh, and they haven't beaten up on the, on the bad team so much. So, this is critical because as we see, the Braves continue to win again. No doubt about it. you got to beat up on those bad teams, Harp. They didn't do it against the Cubs. They are doing it against the Pirates. But when it comes to Chris Bassett, he has exceeded my expectations. Yeah. I thought he was going to be a solid pitcher coming in here. But you know, Harp, we see guys come yeah. from Oakland. Think about what Montez is doing with the Yankees or lack thereof. The idea that Bassett has come in, he's pitched every fifth day, he's gone deep in the games, Scherzer's been on the I.L. a couple of times, DeGrom missed the entire first half. This is been a guy start after start after start you know what you're going to get and I fully expected after he threw a clunker out there against the Cubbies that he was going to go out and pitch his tail off and that's no, exactly what he he's, did he's such a competitor and before the game the Mets said that Tyler McGill uh, is done with his rehab and will be back on Monday they plan to use him as reliever uh, Harp what do you think this is going to do for the bullpen I think it could be huge, Michelle. Uh, like, we've talked about it a lot. I think they need, still need, you know, Wadavino's been good, but he's still a guy he doesn't hold runners on, and that in those close games in the playoffs in the eighth inning, that could be a critical thing. I think McGill, once he, they, they, I think they're going to move him in slowly into that role, but I think eventually he could settle in as that eighth inning guy. you got to see him do it now because he hasn't been a reliever, but he's got the power stuff, and he's always been a guy that throws strikes, and he's lived up to, look, he's jumped in to start the opening, opening game of the season in place of DeGrom when DeGrom got hurt, and Nothing seems to phase me here. Buck talk about the slow heartbeat a lot. I think he could be the perfect guy. Not much time to adjust or adapt to this role, but I think he can do it. Yeah, well, uh, David Peterson made his first relief appearance uh, since late July. He pitched two and a third innings, giving up just one. J.J., between Peterson and McGill, do you think that's enough to boost the bullpen to where it needs to be? Uh, I still have my doubts about that. I wanted the Mets, quite frankly, to be far more aggressive at the trade deadline when it comes to going and acquiring relievers. And I expect McGill, like Harp, to be a factor in this bullpen. Peterson took a step in the right direction. I think the idea that he attacked hitters and threw strikes and didn't nibble and walk the ballpark, yeah. that's an that's adjustment he needs to make if he's going to be successful in that bullpen. I still have doubts about whether or not he's going to be able to handle that role, but tonight, good idea by Buck Schroeder in the Mets. If he's someone that you're going to use come playoff time, don't just do it. Right. In the playoffs, let's see it now yeah. so the pitcher can get used to it. Yeah, I don't necessarily think he'd be the, you know, a crucial guy out there, but he can get some, maybe some, get some big outs for you in the postseason when it comes to that. And as you said, J.J., I mean, part, his issue really is sometimes he'll lose the plate a little bit, walk some guys. He was really aggressive, attack guys, as you heard Buck say. Uh, if he does that, he's got the stuff to succeed. And they, look, Jolie Rodriguez can't be your number one lefty going into the postseason, so Peterson could fill a role there for sure. Yeah, and with Peterson, the lefty the lefty lefty is what I want to see because I don't trust Rodriguez and if you look at how that Met bullpen is set up outside of Diaz there's not a guy you really love against that tough lefty whoever it might be maybe it's Freddie Freeman if you're facing the Dodgers maybe it's Bryce Harper what it Matt Olson with the Braves being able to get a big lefty on a big spot, maybe that's his role. You know what? I, I mean, I know the Mets haven't been their best recently, but it is safe to say that they do have uh, depth and, and good reinforcements now. So thank you so much, guys.